So the story of Bro Jackson really starts with my compulsive need to want to do ridiculous song names. Rejected, uh, party hardy equals tardy. So party hardy equals tardy. Then he wants to call it party hardy equals tardy or something stupid like that. As well as some of my other hilarious song names. And I was just like, ugh. Like, <laughs> why? Like, all of our, like, that doesn't fit anything we've done up till now. Uh, so once the song was about 95% wrapped up, I tried to, under the radar, tell them that it was going to be called Bro Jackson. And since everybody's into sports, you know, that one flew under the radar. And uh, that's how the title came around. Uh, Bro Jackson was like this perfect like middle ground where it was like, okay, we all, we all mess with sports like so much. This, is, this can't be not funny. So like, let's just roll with it. When Andy said that he wanted to call it Bro Jackson, um, immediately thought of that Bono's commercial from the late 80s as a kid. Um, and I thought that'd be kind of cool to bring back to kind of com combine it. So it was cool Andy thought of Bro Jackson and the fact that it is sport themed and we just kind of ran with it. Uh, we did like some really fun stuff. We did like, you know, a whole day of like shooting footage and like just playing off the old commercial of Bo Jackson and like just doing all kinds of really fun stuff. Um, we really like leaned into the sports theme, which suits us. We're all like sports nuts, so. It was really cool to recreate the commercial. Uh, Try to do it shot for shot. Obviously we couldn't do it exactly the same. We wanted to match up with the songs a little bit. Nah. Uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, when John gave me the song, it was uh, sort of this like, bouncy punk and you know that chorus the way that it bounces around the sort of rhythm that it's got just made me think that there needed to be some kind of we needed a good hook i came up with the original riff um a little bit different than what you hear it so i had more of a next rehearsal andy comes in with this hook crushes it we're so pumped the hook some kind of hook that would be memorable and something that, you know, you could sing along to. And so that was the first thing that came around. For what we've been doing, he just comes in with his own idea and knocks it out of the park, like, first try. And I, I was honestly, like, a little pissed. Because, <laughs> like, I've been doing all this and, like, he just comes in with, like, the hook that, like, destroys all hooks. And I was like, okay, well... Obviously, he's meant to be like the front man and do this kind of thing. Like, if if this is like the first thing that he comes up with, it's like it just slays all of our other stuff. It's like it's like I think our sleeper track. You know, the why don't you say what you're thinking? And it was just that lyric is all about sort of my frustration in my general life. You know, I'm kind of a straightforward guy. I'm kind of try to leave it all on the outside. I try to you know not mask my feelings. I try to be straight up with everybody and hope that everybody gives me the same. And you know, friends, relationships, you know, family, everybody's got that built in something and sometimes you just want to scream at them like, just tell me what you're thinking. Just say what you're thinking. Lyrically, this is, like I said, this is the one that like I have, I didn't really jump into. He like full fledged just went in all the way. And I love what he did with it. It's like, it's a, it's, it's a bop, it's so catchy. Um, yeah. Dig on that. So Bro Jackson is actually sort of a milestone for me because that's the first Hey Slugger song that I've written all the lyrics and all the melodies by myself. Yeah, we came up with like a cool like layering part at the end. We fill it all out. Uh, lyrically and melodically, Andy handles the whole thing. And not only does he crush it, but like it's, it's one of those things where like he, I feel like he caught the vibe of the music like first go and we could tell that like he was he was excited to tell us that he had something and i was like it, i was super interested from the start but like when he, we were playing it in that first rehearsal like, i knew right away like, like this is this is going to be a legit tune like, this is going to be this is going to be the song well when we first started out you know the guys were doing instrumentals and craig was putting vocals to things and they had choruses and hooks all ready to go for me and this one just sort of came out of uh, a jam and uh, John put together the track for us. So 
He puts it out, I listen, I listen, I listen. Thinking when we wrote this that I'd be the only guitar player live rather than just doing like a, something like that. Keeping it kind of easy, I really wanted to get that full kind of chord in to really fill it out. I mean, I thought I'd be the only one playing this live, uh, the only guitar player on stage. So I get all, really opens it up a little bit. The chorus came along first, but um, you know, it was, Bit of a back and forth with the guys, but this was the first one that I actually put all my own spin on, my own melodies, my own lyrics, and you know, as much as we collaborate, you know, this one was uh, all me, so screw you guys. It's one of my favorite songs to play live. It has a really catchy chorus, uh, especially like the bouncy parts. I'm just gonna flat out say it, like being in a band in general, it's a young person's game. So like being old and like, you know, doing all this stuff, it's like, I totally understand where he's coming from. Maybe not from just being frustrated in general when he wanted to like be a straight shooter, but like just on the on the day to day, like doing all this stuff, it's like just trying to find the time to like play and like hang out with your buddies. It's like that's how I relate to the tune. It's like, yo, know, I just I just kinda wanna bro out. Like, bro Jackson just means me like getting together with my homies and like playing some songs. I think that's super fun. So anytime I play this song, like kind of what I'm thinking of, so it's pretty cool.